Hi guys, it's Darkness for Life here, and I'm doing another PvP video for you guys. In this PvP video of Dark Souls, I am using the Red Iron Twin Blade plus 10. It's infused with fire, by the way. I just ha had a fight before versing uh, basically the butthole class. Uh, I think it's so uh, something like that called. It's basically the smelter's headpiece and full howls. The rest of howls, basically. That was some dumb win, but anyways. <laughs> Let's carry on. Oh, there's few signs. Quite nice. Guys, and... Uh... I'm probably gonna post some more Titanfall and Assassin's Creed Black Flag on about start of September or end of August because that's when I'm getting my Xbox One probably and you will see some better quality on that. Okay, whatever. Oh. This is an interesting build, I'll admit. on his side Guys, like, I hate the whip. Like, that weapon is just annoying. I know I'm defending a lot, but guys, the whip is so long that I cannot literally do anything. Yes, I hit him. Like, that was my... I could... You saw me attacking before. It was basically pointless. Because my build has no poise. Uh, yeah, it has no poise. Yeah, zero, zero poise everywhere. That's why... Yeah. If I get something, if I go something like against the whip, I basically just gonna have to defend myself if I'm, if he attacks me first. Basically that's all. This weapon is a decent weapon, I have to admit, but you have to be a decent, you know, like, it cannot just go on any type of character. And you have to learn how to play with it time to time.
But like every probably YouTuber when he does Dark Souls, he plays with the weapon at least for an hour or something. Because if you just go and start whatever, it will be unwise. And you're probably going to lose a lot of time. Oh, Santia Spear. I can bet that's poison, like, I can bet that's poison. Oh. Because I tied maybe a little bit early and I thought I didn't get it, but I did. There's another win. GG to that guy. Guys, and I am playing kind of sloppy again, I'm sorry about that. I played a lot of Skyrim, guys, like that game is still like, I I, I play it more. And, and I, I won, I might record a bit more, because like I basically play like few days of whatever game, then I just all, I play Dark Souls or I play whatever game, and then I just record whatever games I play. Like now I'm on Dark Souls, so why not record them? And whenever Call of Duty uh, Advanced Warfare is gonna come out, I will upload that game for sure. Okay, we have a guy in. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's... Oh my god, like using that bullshit like people like that like i so badly like want to just backstab the fuck out of them hmm. if i parry the guy i might win for now it's equal even though he has that bullshitty spell. Yeah he switched, that's better. Now we have an advantage. Didn't expect the second one, did you? expected me to do this type basically this type of attack huh. Rise. yeah you, when you verse some like people which are being careful and play carefully you basically have to play the same way or basically just do un unexpected attacks something like for example if they're gonna come back while you're doing a running attack they would expect you to do that and then they will or do or do some like a jump attack on you or something uh, like that type and you could basically all all backstep them or for example I don't all just do a jumping attack on them it all depends how you play and your playstyle if you're a defensive playstyle you wait until they make the first move if you're an attacking playstyle like probably me you 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 will be on the offensive more like Uh, where is this guy? Okay, no other phantoms, that's good. Uh, he, he's just trying to go through the game. He's not a PvP build. Or maybe he is, I don't know. Nice dodge on his side. Sorry, dude. You have to do that at the start of the game, not now. If you do at the start of the game, you buff up, I will let you, but if you buff in the middle of the fight, uh, no. So far, I only won 
you probably think this weapon's overpowered or something. But this weapon is not as OP as some people might think. It just depends how you play with it. Every weapon has its downside and its plus basically side. Uh, maybe I'll use in my next video uh, the puzzling stone sword maybe I'm not sure I might because I don't want to cover up some DLC weapons because that's three DLC weapons and uh, three or four weapons from the DLC actually all together that's why it's just like for DLC I think I'm not sure in USA how much you have to pay in UK you have to pay like uh, seven pounds eighty pence or around eight pounds probably in US it's like five bucks maybe a bit more I don't know but like I know the DLC doesn't cost that much and all but like there was nothing special in it at the start the DLC kind of got everybody probably but in the end it was just basically like a boss and another boss it was just like really that's the end And I will probably do this invasion and one more and stop then guys. Uh, and that's probably will be all for this video. And I don't know, I'll probably do a next video. I'm not sure which weapon I'll do. Uh, but I'll do... I'll definitely upload another video today or tomorrow of Dark Souls. Because I know my channel is ma mainly based on Dark Souls than Call of Duty and all of that stuff. That's why I will still prefer... Oh, this build just... It's interesting. This is kinda... Oh, he just started the DLC. Oh, he just made this build. Oh, no. Nah, I don't think. If he can dodge that... Yeah. He's just a player who's trying to play the game. Oh, he has po such thing that gives me poison. Ah, come on, dude, don't heal. Like, punish. And that was kind of cheap on my side, but he healed, so whatever. Forbidden sun in the face, mate. And guys, I hope there will be a patch that will make the soul memory different because all of my builds are basically over 8, 9, 10 million in soul memory because like I played a lot of Dark Souls. Now I'm just kind of out of Dark Souls. I play Skyrim and then time to time I come on Dark Souls. Just like because this game is like where uh, my YouTube channel started so I kind of posted. Like this is 7 million, this is low most. I have a build that has around 50 or 60 million soul memory it's like literally i cannot get an invasion i actually deleted that build no long ago because like if soul memory it's not a high level it's like a level 180 but it, it, i just played a lot of pvp like if this game would have patched the soul memory like this game would have been way better way better more people would have played it came to it because i this game is really good, like everybody knows that, but mm, who played it? Hmm. I don't understand this guy's playstyle, he's a fire and faith build. Oh, oh, Laugh of the Gods. Yep, I cannot dodge that shit. Spam forbidden sun for days, bro. Motherfuckers. Yeah, both of us are low hell, but on this one, I'm not sure can I win this. If he has another Forbidden Sun, I'm done. Not Forbidden Sun, Alpha of the Gods. I have to get close to him. Uh. Yeah, 
guess. Oh my god. This is so tempting. Half of the gold. He missed. Yes. Yes. GG to that guy. Okay, guys, this will be the end of this video. I haven't lost a fight. <laughs> I don't know. I've been playing quite a long time. I don't know why. I guess Dark Souls is getting out of the good place. I'm joking, guys. Whatever. If you enjoyed, smack the like button, subscribe, comment, share the video. All that good stuff, guys. Check out my other videos. Peace out.